Chapter 1 Far away, under the sky in the east, there was a lake, and many fish lived in it. They were in a variety of colors. They were orange, green, yellow, brown, and so on. One of them was a blinding shade of red. Her name was Yuri. She was very attractive, so many other fish liked her. One fish loved Yuri the most. That fish's name was June. June was a unique color, too. He was white. Moreover, he was as white as flowing clouds in the sky. June, you are white because you are a wimp, said the others. Many fish that were colorful looked down on him, thinking that he had no color because he had a weak and cowardly heart. But June never became a bad fish, and was never depressed. This is because June had a big dream, and in addition, loved Yuri. Ah, oh, I wish Yuri were my girlfriend, he would say to himself. He hoped this every night, looking up at the moonlight which shone down into the water. Chapter 2 Yuri and June were taking a swim in the lake, when June finally built up his courage and asked Yuri to swim with him. Around the middle in the lake, they looked up. They could see the bright surface of the water lit by sunshine above. I have a dream, June said, looking up. Oh, what is your dream? Yuri asked. That I will get out of the water, and I will fly in the sky. Whoa, that is wonderful. But I wonder whether we fish can fly in the sky. June looked at Yuri. I'm not sure, but I know of one possible way. If this way really works, I can make my dream come true. That is excellent. If you fly, it will make you really great. Yuri was looking at June. She said, I'm sure that you can do it, because even when other fish are mean to you and say bad things, you neither back down nor are you mean to them. I think that is very nice of you. June's heart was thumping. It seemed that something beautiful was about to happen. I will be sure to fly then, and I will take you. His heart was beating too fast for him to continue to speak. Yuri, I will take you to the sky, he said. In his heart, he added, when I do... I will confess that I love you. Really? You promise? asked Yuri. Her eyes shone. Of course. I promise. Absolutely. The two fish looked up at the shining surface of the water. Chapter 3 June's heart was soft and sometimes excitable. When he swam, he was not tired, and even if he was spoken ill of as usual, he didn't care. When he thought of the day before, which he had spent with Yuri, he felt so happy that all bad, painful, and stressful things disappeared from his mind. I will keep the promise I made her, he said to himself. He determined to swim to the furthest part of the lake. The fish living in the lake never went there, because everyone knew that the place was dangerous, and that if they went there, they would lose their lives. But June was going there anyway. June had had the same dream over and over again since he was very young. The dream went as follows. When he awoke at midnight, he could hear someone's voice. He couldn't hear it clearly, however, so he swam in the direction of the voice. Soon, he found he had reached the furthest part of the lake. There was a dark, deep black cave there, and he could clearly hear the voice coming from inside the cave. I will make your dream come true, it said. Chapter 4 Jun believed that he would find the key to realizing his dream to fly in the sky, in this dangerous and forbidden part of the lake. Flying was no longer only his dream. Before yesterday it had been. But now, the dream also belonged to Yuri, and he had to realize it for her sake. When he thought of this, he felt his body grow hotter and hotter, and stronger and stronger. The signboard on a rock said, Keep away from the far place. Dangerous. Jun stopped for a second. For a while he looked at the sign, breathed deeply, and then swam toward the cave's entrance. Little by little, the water around him was starting to flow by faster. It got darker around him and suddenly, he felt like he was being vacuumed up and pulled toward the cave against his will. He caught hold of a rock and hid behind it, shouting desperately. Slowly, he peeked out around the side of the rock, still holding on to it, and looked at the strong water flowing by. He was surprised to see the same deep darkness in the cave's big opening that he had seen again and again in his dream. Like in his dream, he heard the same voice coming from it. 
Why did you come here? The voice was low, and it seemed to be uttered by someone in pain. I said, why did you come here? The voice repeated. Jun hurried to give the best explanation that he could. I came here to have my dream come true. What is your dream? My dream is to fly in the sky. Suddenly, the strong water stopped flowing. Chapter 5 Jun timidly came out from the shadow of the rock and watched the front of the cave that looked like a big open mouth. Do you believe that you can fly in the sky, despite being a fish? I truly understand that fish can never fly like birds, but I want to fly in the big sky. Why do you want to fly in the sky like that? Because it is my dream. Is that the only reason? Jun was puzzled for a moment. The reason is... The other reason is that I promised someone I would fly in the sky. Jun opened his eyes wide and gazed into the darkness of the cave. Then he saw Yuri's fin in his mind. Yes, I understand. I will make your dream true. Really? Jun shouted with clear voice. But there must be one condition. Yes, of course. I will do anything if you make my dream true. Then I will tell you. I want your life. There was silence. After a while, Jun asked, doubting what he had heard. My life? Yes. Hey, you white fish, do you really believe a fish can fly in the sky? So far, no fish has been able to fly in the sky, and no fish will ever be able to do it in the future. It is a dream nobody has made true, and nobody can ever make true again. Only you can make it true, so it is reasonable to exchange your life for such a dream. But, but if I gave in my life and died, how could I fly in the sky? His voice was trembling a little. Even if I gained the ability to fly, I would be dead, and I would not be able to bring Yuri and fulfill my promise, Jun thought. If you won't give up your life, you should give up your dream and go away from here. My life is necessary to realizing my dream, Jun thought to himself. He dropped his head and frowned. Life, dream, death, promise, Yuri! Those words were flying around in his mind. Some of them were very important to life itself, and others related to things Jun had always cared about. Giving life. In short, that means death. What should I do? Jun thought. Suddenly, he felt as if the darkness in the cave had swallowed him up. Ah! He yelled, 